Okay, we're recording now. So each and every one of these introductions is laying down rules and patterns of, or laws, if you will, of reincarnation. But of course, they still have to be applied to a person, an individual, and every person is different. So I kind of relate to these introductions as, as there's a certain wisdom that you can only get after many, many introductions. I mean, Ahmed talks about it in Lukuti Moran as well. There's a type of knowledge that you can gain instantly through inspiration. And there's a type of knowledge that a person can gain through many, many introductions. So Shah Gilgulin has that. So tonight I'm going to read uh, rather quickly to try to cover ground. I'll try to translate word for word. If you have questions, write them in. But there are certain highlights or points that I w we want to get to. So let's begin. Inyana Gilgul. Nivarayar inyana be inyana Gilgul kaful ma inyano. So the first thing Rabbi Chaim Vital is going to talk about is what's called a Gilgul kaful, a double reincarnation. Now there are two other distinctions that we're going to go into about a singular Gilgul. We have the double and the single. Ahadu, the first point. Someone who is new in this world. It's, it's a new soul. First time in the world. If this person cheats, is nefesh, ruach, and neshama level, which are very high levels to receive. And afterwards he sins. And he causes a defect in those three levels of soul. Behold, this man, when he comes back to reincarnate, to repair what he's done, he cannot achieve in this particular Gilgul a repair of all three levels of soul. He's going to explain why that is. It's not through the means it's going to be explained, <coughs> as was explained. When a person is lying in his bed, and he says the pasuk nafshi viticha belayla, and he said my soul is afflicted and is uh, how do I want to translate viticha? My soul was with you in the night. My soul was. Let's go with that for now. Vayshenihu. Again, a new soul comes into the world. But this soul only achieves the nefesh, the lower level of his soul. And then he sins and causes a defect in that only lower cell, that lower soul. When this soul that only achieve the lower level, causes a defect in that lower level, when he comes back, then he can achieve all the levels of his soul together, one after the other. Whereas in the previous case, we saw that if a person achieves all the levels of his soul, and then he has a, God forbid he sins, the defect has an impact at all levels, whereas if he's only achieved one level, then the impact is only at that one level. <coughs> and therefore, he can do more or repair more for his soul when he's only had a defect at the lower level. Because in the beginning, he didn't have a ruach or a neshama level to be de defected. Then these other levels can come with his nefesh after it is repaired. As if it is new again. And he brings up a pasuk that says that it was speaking about the soul. Then the merit, the soul merited even more. 
As some nephesh has come back. We're going to get to your question, Miriam, in the text. <coughs> Excuse my cough. Okay. Which is not the case when a soul comes with all its levels, and all those levels are affected. So you see here is a very important principle. The higher a person achieves in his spiritual service, the more impact the damage of a soul of a sin will have on the person. In other words, the higher the person, the more damaging the impact of the sin, until that he will even have to reincarnate in, in several stages, which we're going to get to. Because he explains why, how can a fixed soul carry a defected ruach? Again, we're going to go back uh, over some of our, as we go through the class, I'll refer to our list of uh, initial principles that we went over last week. And the first, uh, of course, we've gone over this many times, but it doesn't hurt to, again, that Nishama is your thinking capacity soul, your Ruach is your emotional soul, and your nefesh is your body, instinctual, automatic part of your soul, the, the part that runs the systems of your body. Okay, so we have all three of those. Now, all three, of course, have all three. So that you, even at your left, level of nefesh, you still have a ruach and neshama, but it's at the lower level. What the Rav is telling us here, that if a person comes into the world or merits to achieve these high levels, then any damage he's done is going to be reflected in those high levels, and he'll have to come back in, in pieces, literally, because, as he says, how will a fixed root, um, nefesh carry, be a merkava, for a defected ruach? <coughs> in other words, it's kind of like, imagine a person has a really good running body, but his emotions are messed up, right? It's, it's a contradiction, it's a stira. And and so what, Jason, your question is also going to be answered by the Ra very shortly. And so this is one of the first principles we have to understand. But if he only caused, if he only came into the world with a nefesh level, and he merited to that, and then he can then bring in all three levels at once in the same reincarnation, whereas otherwise he cannot. Now the Rav goes on, Nir Ali It appears to me from my limited knowledge, all aspects of repair. Rotzelomar, it wants to tell us, is Kiyoma Mitzvot, Tatsuli Ot, Evarea Nefesh. When we say, when we use the word tikkun in this material, we're talking about the performance of mitzvah that depends upon each limb of the soul. Okay, so when a person, a man puts on tefillin, he's using his arm. But something is giving that arm life force. That's the, when we speak of a limb of the soul, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the life force in each particular part of the body. Same is true for women. Now, when there's a defect, so doing a mitzvah that we're not doing an act that we're not supposed to do, that avera causes a pagam in that particular spiritual limb. Now, and it is known, the complete entrance of the nefesh into the body. Which is called the repair of the nefesh. It's through the keeping of the mitzvot. Right? So the actual doing the mitzvot repairs the asiya or action level of the mitzvah. Of course, and having the proper emotion during the mitzvah repairs the emotional level of the mitzvah. And having the proper intention intellectually repairs the neshama level of the mitzvah. 